G'day. Here I am in my print workshop and this is where I screen print all these t-shirt designs which I've been doing for about 30 years. It's one of the pains of being a successful artist. You can be slave to your own artwork sometimes. Especially if you have a successful design, you're always doing it. But that's not what I'm talking about today. Today, I want to talk about a trap I think I see a lot of people falling into when it comes to art. And that's the Instagram trap. People, well, I say Instagram, there's a lot of social media out there. People can fall into the trap in a few ways. One of the things I've often said to people who are artists in social media is be the dealer, don't be the user. Because people get addicted to that stuff. But where the trap really comes into it, I think, is where people look at really great, amazing artwork. And they sort of think, oh, I can't do that. And so, does that mean that every time you're looking at Instagram, or DeviantArt or something else, you're looking at people who are better than you. So how does that make you feel as an artist over a period of time? It can be demoralizing. It can make you sort of think, why bother? Out in the country here, I'm sort of like a big fish in a small pond. But if I go into a big city, I just see artists everywhere. And I think, ugh. I'm not such a big fish after all. So you start feeling like pretty worthless as an artist. At best mediocre and why bother trying? And you kind of forget why you started doing art in the first place, which was you enjoy creating stuff. Instead of creating stuff, you're looking at what other people are doing. Every time you do, you don't feel like you're worthy. You start losing your confidence. And before you know it, Wasting time on the phone when you should be doing art. The other trap is a little heart shaped button or the thumbs up. People feel like that is some kind of valid rating. That somehow if you are enough of a thumbs up it sort of validates your existence in some way. If you put a bit of art up online and you've got lots of little love hearts or thumbs up. You somehow think well that art must be better. It's a it's a kind of gauge that's not that accurate in that, you know, if you get a few likes, it might be a magnificent piece of art, but just not the right people are seeing it. Or you might get stacks of likes for a crappy piece of art and people are just being nice. So how do you tell? A better way would be to actually show somebody your art. Uh, by doing that, you... Uh, got somebody in the real world actually looking at your art, you can gauge their reaction, pick someone you respect. Doesn't have to be another artist, but somebody whose opinion matters to you makes a big difference. And this might sound corny, but you know how if you'll sometimes get this uh, almost like a participation award you know, which is kind of the way the world goes these days, there's no winners, but the reality is if you train hard, real hard, and you run a race, even just running the race is a type of victory because you've decided to go into the race. And if you win, it's even better. But which race? If you're an athlete, imagine an athlete starts off Imagine, say, a boxer starts off boxing. Is she or he just going to go straight to the world title? Or do they start off small and work their way up? So the problem with art is when you're looking at your social media, sometimes it's like looking at the world title when you haven't fought just an amateur match yet. So a certain amount of training comes in and lots of fails. 
think of a bodybuilder. A bodybuilder gets their body by failing constantly. It's a constant fail because they lift their weights until they can't do it anymore. And once they can't do it anymore, they know their muscles are completely exhausted and that builds muscle so the next time they can do a little bit more. It's small increments, it's small steps to get there. Exactly the same with an artist. There's one thing that art has got that uh, none of these sports have. With being an artist, it's not about being able to draw photo realistically. It's not about um, trying to be as good as somebody else. The thing about art is it's to be different. Whoever's the most different can win. And that's not to say that you don't exercise and hone those skills. You can, you've got to sort of like be the best that you can be as an artist. But it's exactly that, the best, got to be the best version of you that's possible. You can draw stick figures and be a successful artist. If behind that is composition, if there's feeling and emotion, if there's flow, uh, so the use of colour, you know, even stick figures you can be a great artist because you connect with people, you make people feel things. Uh, you can be photorealistic and be an artist and that actually might be harder because so many people do that. You know, you draw something that looks like a photograph, you get a pat on the back by somebody who's not an artist, who doesn't understand. Uh, and the world keeps turning and you get left behind. But they've got everything in between. Um, for those who seek to get to realism, there is a point where style comes in. And this is where everyone has to be different. Nobody runs the race the same way. Everybody has their own style of running that same race. And the thing with art is the ones that fail probably the ones that get discouraged. The ones that succeed, no matter what their skill levels are, are the ones that continue no matter what. So it doesn't matter how old you are, how young you are, you just gotta get into that race. And you've gotta not spend all night on the phone. Uh, people's phone addictions as long as you're looking at other people's art, you're not doing art. If you are, you know, being discouraged constantly, you're not doing art. But here's a quick fix for you. Choose a theme. Choose a theme that, um, that you like that not many people like. You'll find that there's artists out there that will do the same theme. They may not be your favourite artists, but look at their work anyway. If you look at an artist that you sort of think is mediocre, then what you can feel is, well, if they can do it, so can I. And that can be an encouragement. So rather than falling into the trap of constant discouragement, of looking at the great art that you can't achieve, Look at the art you can achieve. If you want to be a bodybuilder, you don't start with the heaviest weights. You start with the light weights. You build up and build up. Fail a lot along the way, but you get there. Right, I'm going to get stuck into printing more of these t-shirts. I'll see you next time.